Boris, thanks very much for joining us. Obviously, we've just had the signing. Just tell us a little bit about the building and I suppose what that's adding to Valve Europe. So this is a very iconic design for us. It looks like an old factory building, but it's actually brand new. And it looks like a conversion, but it's built from the ground up. Actually, construction hasn't started yet. It will be an iconic addition to Val d'Europe. It will really stand out compared to other buildings, even though we have a lot of consistent architecture in the area. But this will be a lighthouse project. In terms of the current kind of leasing opportunities, those kinds of things, how have you seen 2023? In the current economic environment, it's actually not that easy. But this project has already off, off to a great start. We actually just learned that they have first interest in tenants, even though the building, the construction hasn't even started yet. So we're actually very optimistic. Val de Robe, we're still on a great trajectory and we'll manage this current crisis. We get out of it very quickly and we already see signs of recovery in the real estate space. And in terms of that letting side, have you, have you continued to see a growth in terms of the companies coming to Val de Europe? Yes. So last year alone, we added another 900 companies, small and big businesses, but we're now at over 7,300 companies having their business in Val de Europe. Really interesting to get that take on what's happening and an update on the project. Thanks very much Thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Great meeting you.